Good afternoon everyone. Um, I'm flying the Phantom 3 today. It's been a little while since I've had this one in the air. So I've designed a mission here. Uh, waypoints mission. It's a 10 point waypoint mission along 4 mile beach in, in um, Port Douglas. It's going to be a beautiful flight this one. It's um, one of the furthest I've, gonna, I've ever taken a, a, a waypoint mission. It's um, 5.8 kilometres in total round trip. The first waypoint is 2 kilometres away from me to the north at Sheraton Mirage. And from there we're going to track the beach all the way back uh, until we do a flyby past me down to 20 meters so we're going to be sitting up around 50 meters higher through most of the the mission descending down to 20 meters when we get back to me about two kilometers later from the first waypoint uh, from there I'm going to drift further south along the beach about another near another near kilometer south of me before going back out to sea about half a kilometer half a kilometer to almost a kilometer it's actually 776 meters out where we'll be and then I'm going to go from waypoint 9 into waypoint 10 the final uh, waypoint uh, back to me uh, it's a very nice day 26 degrees a uh, slight wind of 15.3 kilometers an hour heading from the south east up to the northwest so it's a southerly so we're going to be coming back with a slight headwind so the phantom rises up to 50 meters have just started the mission and we're on our way to heading heading towards the Sheraton Mirage Resort which is two kilometers straight ahead it's an absolutely glorious day here at Port Douglas it is it's if you've never been up to this part in Australia here I highly recommend it it's a very popular tourist destination definitely worth seeing this part of the part of Australia Port Douglas it's it's an hour's drive north of Cairns it's a very tropical region up this way uh, where we are about an hour south of the Daintree rainforest it's one of the the oldest rain rainforest in the world so the Daintree Rainforest basically you can see on the horizon on the water on the on the right hand side it starts way out in the distance there following all the way along the mountains at the back to the tallest mountain on the left hand side of the screen where the clouds are sitting above that area there is the Daintree Rainforest. So the main area of Port Douglas is on the hill straight ahead at the end of the beach, a four mile beach up there, that's the, um, the main street and strip up in that area there where all the dining and all the fun is anyway. So we're drifting along at 30 kilometres an hour, we'll kick back for a while and listen to a bit of music until we get to the Sheraton Mirage. Weight off my shoulders Cause I know yesterday ain't coming back mm -hmm. I'm gonna let the past stay in the cold I'll move the sun to the ocean Let its unsaid words be spoken And I'll let my mind be carried by the waves Oh, I will open up my eyes so I can see the light Try to spread my wings so I can fly Oh, when the darkness starts to fade Feels like things are gonna go my way I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day 
as we approach Sheraton Mirage, that's the first waypoint of the mission and the first focus point that you'll see the camera should focus and turn, or should turn and focus on the uh, on the resort itself, and then we'll track back along the beach then towards where it started from. And off we go, we've reached our first waypoint, so effectively the mission started. A lot of popular profile people have stayed at the Sheraton Mirage. Port Douglas is sort of is known as a place where all the rich people will will, will come if they visit this area. North Queensland, it has some of the most beautiful beaches there in Queensland, in my opinion. There's no surf, but it's just it's just beautiful up here. A lot of untouched beaches, semi-remote, not too many people around. You just have to watch out in the summer if we have crocodiles, saltwater crocodiles inhabit the area up here, and swimming here in summer is also very dangerous with some very very bad uh, jellyfish, which which end of the sh end of the shoreline. So beware of all that if you ever visit up here. Cairns is straight ahead, it's an hour south, uh, the far mountain right in the distance there, that's pretty much where it is, it's in that area. We're starting to descend now, uh, should be coming down from 50 metres, heading down to 40 and then down to 20 where I'll do a flyby past. Down to 20 metres as we fly by past. You can just see me there in the bottom right hand corner. The spinning is a mistake on my part in the Litchi app. Um, I think I've put the wrong direction for rotation, which is why it's spinning. It's meant to be focusing on the on the point of interest, which was me.
starts to make its approach out to sea. It should go out to sea around about 700 metres before it makes its final way back towards its um, takeoff point initially. like a lot of seaweed in the water there below. It's a shame we can't see any um, any marine life. Uh, usually there's a lot of, you can get a lot of um, stingrays, manta rays even out this way, possible even crocodile. But it's very, not a lot out here at the moment. It's all seaweed below. So it looks like we're at our max distance out and starting to make our way back um, to end the mission. It's been a successful mission so far. Up in beautiful Port Douglas at Four Mile Beach. Highly recommend coming here if anyone is in this part of Australia. A beautiful place to stay. So making our way in now to the final waypoint and we've stopped now so that's the end of the mission right there. I'm going to switch it off and take over control manually now and bring it down. So recapping the flight stats, um, total kilometres 5,868 metres, that's 5.8 eight kilometers. Max distance away was at the Sherat Mirage where we reached nearly two kilometers away, 1.939 meters. And our max altitude stayed at around about, or stayed at around about 50 meters high. Max speed constant at 30 kilometers an hour. Well, I enjoyed this mission. That was a good challenge for the Phantom. It breezed through it with the wind. Hope you all enjoyed it as well. It was rather long, but other than the constant rotation, which was a mistake on my behalf, it was all quite successful. Thanks for watching, everyone. Hope you all enjoyed it, and have a nice day. See you next video. Goodbye.